Our top story in this bulletin is about the current tensions between India and China as the two countries continue to disengage and de-escalate at several points of contention at the line of actual control. China has now made an outreach to India. The Chinese envoy to India, Sun Weidong, has called for mutual cooperation between India and China. We look at the five big takeaways from his speech. Weidong said that India and China have shared history of over 2,000 years, which has been dominated by friendly cooperation. He said that India and China should focus on becoming partners and work towards developing long-term strategic interests. Weidong said that India and China should see each other as positive factors and should uphold the five principles of peaceful coexistence reached and agreed upon in the past. Weidong also said that India and China have a boundary issue which is a leftover of history. He said that the issue was sensitive and complicated, but the need was to find a fair and reasonable solution which would be acceptable to both parties. Second, China and India need peace rather than confrontation. Cooperation benefits both while confrontation serves neither. As two major neighboring countries, it is natural that China and India may have some differences. We have been holding dialogues and negotiations to manage differences. We should always bear in mind the overall bilateral relations, put differences in an appropriate place, and not allow differences to interfere with bilateral relations. China and India have the boundary question left over by history, which is sensitive and complicated. We need to find a fair and reasonable solution mutually acceptable through equal consultation and peaceful negotiation. Pending an ultimate settlement, we both agree to work together to maintain peace and tranquility in the border areas. We have so far established a number of mechanisms, such as the special representative talks on the China-India boundary questions, and maintained smooth communications through diplomatic and military channels.